So we have this component and it does this show more, show less thing as we open this up. Well, now we don't have anything to like show less of. And so our button just disappears, but it waited for our click to do that. And so when we render it again, I just hit refresh. We don't see it, that's great. Except for the fact that we wanna see it when we're down this small. Like, how do I see more of this? Well, I can't, unless I refresh and then it all works. We need to make sure that we update our content height anytime the parameters of our browser change. And for that, we're going to use another use effect. Yes, you can stack as many of these use effects as you want. Here, I have one I just copy and pasted because you don't wanna see me type window dot add event listener. We're going to look for the resize event and on resize, we're going to run this synonymous function, which just sets the content height using the current ref current scroll height. So exactly what we were doing before, except this one only changes when we render the component or re-render the component based on state change, which is what we saw with the um, button click being the activator for that. This use effect We'll try to sync up our state anytime the window changes on a resize event. Okay, so let's save this, refresh, and uh, see what happens. As I drag this out, if we cross below our 100 megapixel threshold, megapixel, 100 pixel threshold, um, and go back again, we see that our show less button appears, which is great. Okay, so we have a problem, but it's invisible. And I wanna show you a way that you can actually start to see this problem. So in this event handler, we're going to console log, uh, let's do um, date.now. Okay, save that and make sure that like, even you have if you have auto refresh, refresh this and then open up your console. So if you see a few dates logged out, probably more than we expected, that's fine. Don't worry about like these small numbers, um, but we're gonna start just dragging this thing around, drag it back and forth. You can kind of do it slowly. You can do it fast if you want, but just, you know, drag it around a little bit and notice how the amount of times that this thing renders goes up to the point that if I just change it one pixel, we see 23 renders of this date dot now. If I drag it around a little bit more, it's gonna go up again. So now we have 29. Let's see if we can get it past 30. Yep, 30, okay. Now, if you have a long running application, this is a memory leak that will drive you crazy. Your job for this assignment is to figure out how to avoid this memory leak inside of use effect. If you wanna see how we solved the last one, look up here. If you want to see how we solve this one tomorrow, check out this video right here. I'll see you in the next one, bye.